I'm going to show you Sam's chicken cooker and uh, this is a number six uh, trash can and it's galvanized. I got it from uh, Ace Hardware and right now I'm burning off all the galvanizing because galvanizing is not uh, the best thing to have in your food. You've heard of uh, trash can turkey. This is going to be a trash can chicken. Now I'm rolling the can around and I'll just show you the technique. Is I put, uh, I get about 18 pounds of charcoal and uh, uh, light it all with my little uh, smokestack there. Then I take some channel off, love my channel off, and just kind of turn it to a new area. And so you want to be careful and uh, put some more charcoal in there around where it's all doing its job. See how it's turning gray in there? That means it's cooking off. And uh, I'll do this all the way around. And one other thing is I've taken the handle off from these ears because we can actually make our steak out of this. What I did is with the aid of a vise right here, I was able to bend this into a shape like that. I went to all of my hardware and I found some things that will work. You may have some other hardware that will equally work. But uh, I had these little uh, brackets and they just happened to have holes that were just perfect for making a clamp. And what we're going to do is use these, I also had these uh, window guards. It keeps your window from uh, uh, from going up too high. You can have it where it'll only open uh, maybe five inches. And so you can get them at the hardware store. They're window guards and uh, they will work really well once you see how I use them. And you need a couple of uh, bolts and nuts. This one on. And what it is is like a little supporting clamp. And hold that in place, turn, tighten her up. Okay, there. Now what's going to happen is you're going to have this and you want to make sure that you adjust this to so it will go in here like this. Okay. And you may have to bend it around a little bit, but there. Okay. Now, to get, you want enough going down, and you don't need more than eight inches sticking up. So, eight inches, and it, it can go to nine or ten. It's okay. As long as you have maybe three or four inches in the ground is fine. So, what you do is make sure that you've got enough to go into the ground and right about there. That'll probably do it. Okay. And then we put these babies on and you loosen this up so that it'll slide on there. And you just slide it right on up. And you put one out this way and tighten it and you do the other one out this way and there's a reason because when you get this in the ground you can actually adjust these up and tighten them down and even though this moves it's it's the main important thing is that it keeps the chicken from sliding down. So that's an estimate right there. 
that we will drive it into the ground till, and, and we can actually adjust this platform with these to the height that we actually want it. So, that's what we got to have right there. And uh, it's going to work well. And you would just take a hammer and uh, I'll show you the process to do it. I just wanted to show you how to make you a little support out of the materials that you mostly have. This handle makes a great one and you don't really need it. So that's great. Okay, uh, we're almost there. And then we'll show you the preparation for actually um, doing the cooking. Butter the whole chicken inside out and uh, down. and under his arms. What you want to do is pick a spot uh, in the yard that's pretty level. Uh, you want to you don't want it tilted and you want it as flat as you can get it so that you can get a good seal on the bottom. And uh, what you're going to do is have it adjusted about like this. These are tight. And I'm going to drive this into the ground to uh, a point uh, about up to here, where this is about up to there, where the chicken will be halfway in the center of that. First thing, though, is we're going to put some tin foil, an ample supply, and you may even put a couple of these on there so you don't get them all blown away. And I like to take a nice heavy duty wide supply and put something out here to hold them. And like that. Okay. <clears throat> now, take your can and find you a spot there. That's good enough. And kind of push down. So you're making a mark. Okay. Okay. Now, in the center of this is where I'm going to put this. And I'm going to drive her right in there. Kind of looking down, making sure this is as center as I can get it. I can adjust later. Now, put this up there. And I want it just a little bit more. That's perfect. And so my chicken will be up in there just right. Okay. Right there. That's good. And then I make sure she'll fit good. Perfect. Now put this over to the side. 15.4 pound bag. That'll be plenty of charcoal. So you light all of this up. And when it mostly gets gray, gray in color, we'll be ready to go. This to light up good. Okay. And we'll light her. This is going to take uh, around 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And it'll be ready here where he will suntan himself. Right there. We'll let his little legs just stand there and his little wings out. Now I'm going to take the can and put him over. Making sure that he's down as hard as I can get him.
any gaps you can so that you can shovel stuff around. A flat tip. She's cooking and I want you to see the smoke and everything is coming from underneath and listen see if you can hear the sizzling. Now we're going it's been about 40 minutes and we're going to test it and see how it's doing. So what you do is take your shovel and slowly pull this around from around the base. Just all you just gotta pull it a little bit because if it's not right, we'll put the charcoal back and let it cook some more. So, back. Pulling it all around. Back. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my leaves and we're going to take our two channel locks and we're going to pull her up like that. And she's looking good. A little burn on the top, but I'm going to see how when I take a, a rag and nice I'm clean just rag pulling. Hope he doesn't drop a leg or anything. We're gonna take the whole rack up. Oh. Okay. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Okay. Let me hold it. Okay. Hold there the he goes. Yay. We're gonna. Uh, we don't want to drop him. I'll have to see why he didn't come out. Uh, he, the whole thing came out. He wouldn't come out of there. So uh, I'm going to uh, pull him right off, and he does slide off. So this tin foil is holding it a little bit. Maybe next time I won't use the tin foil. And make sure the the metal is oh. uh, nice and clean. Oh, 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 okay. That's good. Okay, he's looking good. Let me just turn him over. Let him cool. And let him cool. There. And he's a nice temperature. This was 40 minutes. Uh, comes out perfect. It is a little uh, hot on the top. So I may drive them down in the ground just a little bit more uh, or not put so much heat on the top because that uh, was the top area. Did you scorch it? It's all done and right now it's been cut up into to the uh, different parts and it's absolutely gorgeous. It, uh, 40 minutes is plenty of time. Uh, I will adjust the amount of heat I put on the top uh, did start getting scorched a little bit, but I didn't need any more time. There's no red. It's all perfectly moist and great. 